Hello friends, this video on redox reaction part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. Let's understand the competitive transfer electron transfer reaction. There's always competition in life and the competition is for us, for everyone actually I believe, for elements, human, the competition is to achieve stability. See, if a person is running in a Olympics, he is running to get name, fame, so that he can be stable in life. We are all studying, our know, students study, you know, people do job, they do business, just because they want stability in life. See, because the elements also want stability in their life, and they can achieve this by gaining or losing electrons based on which side of the periodic table they lie. And I've explained this things pretty clearly in the class 11th Adam chapter. If you don't, uh, if your concepts are not clear, please watch the chapter once again. So if you see a lot of students, well, they are racing, they are racing just to win. They want to be winner, they want to be stable in life. Similarly, if you see, if you have zinc in a copper or uh, sulfate or copper nitrate solution, you put the zinc in a copper sulfate or copper nitrate solution. After some time, you see the color of the copper nitrate solution, which is dark blue, will turn very light blue and zinc is a, a we call it rain color. The copper from the copper nitrate solution will get deposited here. And you'll see a good deposit of copper here. You can do this in your lab. You can have, take a zinc, you can take copper nitrate solution, a copper sulfate solution. Just dip it. You'll see the dark color of the copper nitrate solution is uh, uh, minimized and it, it almost becomes colorless and you'll see a copper deposit in the zinc. The question is why it happened. So if you see the reaction that happened is here, zinc when it reacted with copper sulfate solution, zinc got oxidized. Zinc became Zn plus 2, right? It lost electron and copper got reduced. Copper nitrate reduced to copper and that copper is deposited here. But if you flip this side, if you take a zinc nitrate solution and put a copper strip, you keep it for hours, months, years, there will not be any reaction. Why? Because if you see, zinc can oxidize more easily than copper. Zinc can oxidize more easily than copper if you're talking about the oxy. Oxidation property, yes. Zinc is a stronger oxy than, than copper. And that is their property. That depends on the atomic structure uh, because zinc want to lose electron more than copper to become stable. And there is a competition between zinc and copper. Similarly, for other metals also we can uh, create a competitive chart which can help us in uh, predicting whether the reaction will happen or not. For example, in this case, zinc plus copper sulfate, the reaction happened, but copper plus zinc sulfate, the reaction didn't happen. Why? Because we know that the reactivity chart, with the, if it developed a reactivity chart, we know that zinc is more reactive than copper, or zinc want to lose uh, more electron more than uh, copper. So, we can develop a, a chart kind of this. For example, if you see, if you re react zinc with copper, you get this kind of reaction. You react copper with uh, uh, silver nitrate kind of stuff. Then you will see, again, you get copper plus. That means copper is uh, more stronger than silver nitrate or copper want to lose electron more badly than silver. Right? Similarly, you can develop a metal activity chart like this. That means lithium wants to develop, uh, want to release or give electron more easily, or want to get oxidized more easily, right? So, because the, it becomes Li plus and becomes more stable, similarly, uh, potassium, calcium, sodium, and this is the order. Gold, if you see, is in glass, that means very unreactive also. And that's why we make a lot of ornaments in gold. So, this is a reactivity chart. If we say, with this chart, we can find, if you say that I have a reaction between zinc and let's suppose uh, uh, this guy copper sulfate I can see that reaction will happen because zinc will try to become zinc sulfate right 
और एलमोनियम एंड जिंक सल्फेट एल से यस एलमोनियम विल बिकम एलमोनियम क्लास थ्री बट इफ आई हैव आयरन एंड जिंक सल्फेट नो द रिएक्शन वोट हैपन बिकॉज जिंक विल जिंक सल्फेट अब इज इज जिंक इज ऑलरेडी इन क्लास टू एंड आयरन इज इन फ्री आयरन सो जिंक हैड मोर टेंडेंसी टू बिकम जिंक क्लास टू देन आयरन सो इट विल बी इन द स्टेज बट इफ इट इज जिंक एंड आर एन प्लस टू लेट सपोज सो देन जिंक विल बिकम जिंक प्लस टू एंड आयर विल बिकम आयर करेक्ट दिस इज मेटल एक्टिविटी सीरीज एंड दिस इज डेवलप्ड यूजिंग टन एंड टन ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स सो इट्स गुड टू रिमेंबर दिस एक्टिविटी सीरीज एक्चुअली थैंक यू विजिट एग्जाम फेयर डॉट कॉम टू Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.